Hi, welcome to this tutorial. You're watching uh, a Linux Mint system, uh, XFCE in particular, and um, these are my settings. You can take a look at them. We've just uh, installed 4.9.10, so just released today. And the, the, the topic of the tutorial is as follows. I was experimenting with the right mouse click on the menu and edit applications. So when working on OpenBox, which is a completely other desktop environment, you do not have any menu at all. Well, there are standard menus, but you have to make your own menus. That brought this idea that um, I could make in, in OpenBox, I could make a an, an little menu to open a conkey, a menu to open a content comp. So the main configuration files we're always opening like in i3 the config file and all that can you can pinpoint to a menu to these um, files those those core files so let's do this together here so we can uh, use this whisker menu plugin that's this that's this one whisker menu and we're gonna edit applications and we have this menu here that we see here so all accessories development it starts here and other uh, elements so let's take a look and make something new here so we can use a plus at the top add launcher add directory add separator um, okay let's try with uh, directory new directory and we call it personal files Let's be consistent with the capital letters. Yep, that's it. Personal files. So now we have this new directory. We have to save it, of course. And now this is here, personal files. Is this already in here? No, it's not. So let's get it uh, to where we can see it somewhere. Let's do it alphabetically. L, P, O, another one, like so and see where it is now personal files not present yet so we have to save it it is saved already mm -hmm. so what did we miss nothing is inside that's true so probably some kind of safeguard that uh, empty folders will not show up that's a good idea so plus add the launcher and then the command will take for instance the configuration file of the conkey and the conkey on the right side there um, you have to change the colors or you have to change this or that okay so let's um how we'll call it open conkey okay or a big c whatever open conkey the main thing is that we issue the proper command but before we issue any command we have to point to the right file which is this one so we have this big path in our uh, input box here and now we tell them to open it with sublime for instance watch out some of the distros have sublime 3 and sub like so um, the rest I keep as is we save we have now this open conkey here and uh, let's take a look personal files open conkey we have to make a menu a big bit bigger so we can go like so and like so but the icon might be well not so good so there are a lot of icons but there is something about the conkey so conkey and conkey manager let's use this one so now we'll go in here and in a bit when we save it probably we'll see that it's another icon now so that's been taken care of if we click it there you go this is my conkey and i can change the colors here or change the the mint into xfce save and there you go a nice logo for XFCE. By the way, all the uh, effects you see are not done with Compton. So it's the plain, simple XFCE settings. When you focus something and 
this is unfocused and it becomes transparent so shadows and all that that are here present it's all just XFCE no content no compass all right what else open conky that's one thing I wanted to do and what I always go as well is i3 but i3 is not yet installed so um, and I wanted to go to the Compton comp file but the Compton is not installed yet so I guess this is it so you can change this as well we have here this icon I don't know if you like it so you can go to browse icons and then go to I don't know to find something else but uh, the thing is I'm wondering where it's going to look for it as you can see you find a lot of applications he has a, a vast dump of icons all kind of things but I do wonder where and how you set where to look for these icons I'm gonna keep it I'm, I like it like it is and then um, that concludes this tutorial so you can now add stuff in your menu and go and open your personal files or open it anything else you know enjoy <laughs>